Okay, this is a video for the CCA CA16. Um, super duper surprised. That rarely happens in this hobby. Very, very surprised. I'll come right out and say that the CCA is, I believe, a sub-brand of KZ. I, I really don't follow KZ and all the sub-brands, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. If that is the case, I would say that this is my favorite KZ and sub-brand that I've heard m myself. There's some that I've listened to briefly and could hear the metallic treble and just got away from it. This set is fantastic. I can't believe maybe somebody's going to come in and say, I, I asked you, and maybe some people did, but I can't believe this wasn't really pointed out to me more. I think it's about s same price as the IT00 by Ibeso. It's eight drivers, I think. So that's why it's a 16. It's eight on each side. It's like a dy dy dynamic driver and uh, um, seven BAs. And it sounds fantastic. Let me be absolutely specific with you. I was listening to, actually you can see it up at the top, Daniel. Um, Elton John, Don't Shoot Me, I'm on the Piano Player. It's not too far down here. You see D. This one right here. Um, listening to the first track. I enjoy this sometimes when I listen and I was blown away by the clarity of the guitar, but I shouldn't have been because I actually wrote when I was listening to No More No More by Aerosmith, vocals plus guitar, good, and then I did Big Boy Kill Jill, best hit on a KZ. It hits very nice. It graphs like it's got a big hit, but it, it the compensation elevation in the treble, which looks like uh, a ghetto chi-fi take on the IER z one r like the multiple hills and it's take a look at this real quick I listened before I graphed and there's reasons that it's this is appealing to me 6k is falling right in the crevice which is cool a lot of the sets that I like like the Voyager the V14 by TA Audio has a dip at 6 there's a lot of sets that have a dip around six a lot of the expensive ones it seems to I can put up with it if it goes the other way but I my ears obviously prefer this and the Sony IR Z1R this isn't anything like that but I'm just saying it's got the multiple ridges that kind of rolls its way out into the later treble and this is kind of doing the same thing that looks like huge bass um, it doesn't get in the way when it's not supposed to like listening to Daniel by Elton John I enjoyed this so much that I listened to it four times back to back to back because I was trying to think of what is the thing. The detail on the guitar was fantastic. Mm, one of the better like resolving playbacks that I've heard period of that track, which is a trip. The set 60 bucks, 59 or $60, dollars, I'm not really sure. I'm not hyping it because I'm not a KZ family has like their own people that they like to review and they comment on those channels and uh, Zpolt is one of those. I like Zpolt. He's he's a Pinoy boy from the Philippines. I got a lot of friends in Hawaii that are Filipino. Um I'm a big fan of pork guisantes. Uh, I believe that's like pork and peas, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a fan of balut, which is I think you take like a egg that's actually fertilized and then you bury it in the ground for a little while and take it. If anybody's if there are any Pinoy boys that watch this video that was really bad. Porky Santes was excellent. And everybody knows pork adobo and chicken adobo. Love that food. Um, so Zpolt does videos. And I, the one I looked for the C, because I listened to this, I thought, has anybody said that this is awesome? And I went and looked. And there's Zpolt right here. Review superb detail for the price versus TRMBA5. I haven't watched the video. I don't know what his conclusions were. I do know that this is a very nice set. I wasn't a fan of the BA5. Five balanced armatures. It doesn't seem to give me the kick when I need it. I don't need it with Elton John Daniel, but I do need it with Big Boy, and it gives me the backbone for Aerosmith. This is really good. I'm kind of in a hype mode because I was enjoying music so much that I skipped dinner, which is a problem because now I'm going to eat two hours later than I usually do. Let me drop a knowledge bomb on you because I do that when I feel really happy. I feel happy when I'm surprised. When something is sent to me and it costs over $1,000 and it sounds good, I'm not surprised. I'm expecting it. You know what I mean? Um, like the B-Lon came and people said it was good and I listened to it. And the more I listened to it, the more I thought, this isn't good. This is absolutely fucking mind-bending. This is Daniel by Elton John. And this might be something you don't know because I didn't know it. Um, 
Daniel has been the most misinterpreted song that we'd ever written, Expired Taupin in the Two Rooms Tribute Project. The story is about a guy who went back to a small town in Texas, returning from the Vietnam War. They lauded him when he came back home and treated him like a hero, but he just wanted to go home, go back to the farm, and try to get back to the life he'd led before. I wanted to write something that was sympathetic to the people that came home. My image of Elton John um, is very different from that story and what that is written about. Like I, I'm, I'm imaging because I have media bias that Elton John is a left-leaning. Um, he's obviously gay. Got no problems with that. Why would I? Love is love is beautiful. Whether it's men, women, men and women, I don't really care. I'm not a religious person. That's not my business. So I thought because of bias and stereotype that Elton. I met Elton John at the Neiman Marcus at Alamoana Shopping Center. I met him. No, I walked and passed him. He is not as tall. He was wearing platform shoes in a mall. I actually met this guy. Um, some, Tupac, I met him also when I meet these people. Waikiki in Hawaii. I'm sorry to go over a script. People always say, you met Tupac. and If you ever lived in a place like Waikiki, Waikiki, not Hawaii, Waikiki, which is where all the, all the hotels are, and when you're you know going to high school in your last year and you're delivering pizza, you're meeting all this. I met Thomas Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler sitting at a table at a really ghetto place on Lures or right behind Lures. Really, really not great place with the lights dim, sitting next to the pool, delivered a pizza. Zero tip. Three of the best heavyweights or middleweights in boxing history, maybe. I knew who they were, too, when I was looking at them, and they, they didn't tip me. Fucking true story. So anyway, I saw Elton John, and he looked like he was kind of looking me up and down. And I looked down at him also because he was kind of short, and he was wearing platform shoes at the Almana Shopping Center. Anyway, back to the CCACA16. These are really good. They play guitar. I listen to a bunch of stuff. Um, so anyway, Daniel was written about a guy coming fr back from the war who just wanted to live his life. I would never, ever would have imagined that. Stereotypes. I don't know what I thought. You can obviously see by I have his whole collection and I'm a huge Elton John fan. That is partly related to the fact that I bumped into him and met him, but I also, my mother listened to his music, so there's like that double thing. Learned of him through my mother and the, her vinyl. Bumped into him at a place where famous people travel from all around the world, from Japan, everybody holidays in Hawaii. Listening to Ripple by the Grateful Dead. Again, the guitar clarity is, it's not a clarity that is... Sometimes elevations in the treble, like something like the Moondrop Blessing 2. It does, in fact, have a lot of detail, but it's doing that via the elevation in the treble, and it's obvious to the listener, and it can be fatiguing. People say change tips. I, I believe that, too. Tips do make a big difference. If you don't get a good seal, you're not getting what the tuners were trying to present to you. I get that, but there are sets that are good that are getting that clarity via treble, elevation and while this does have it it's doing it in a different way and I've said before everything in the blue on the right is like a rainbow there is no proper way to do treble there is proper and bad ways to do bass and mids the, the, these mids are close to not being great but then this is a V let's make no mistake but it sounds good I'm, I'm, I'm half thinking I'm just going to hit stop and redo this video, but fuck it, just keep going. I'm, I'm unscripted anyway. Um, so guitar jumped out at me as sounding fantastic. I also listened to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Actually, I listened to Grateful Dead Ripple. And people say yeah, that sounds good on everything. Not true, kind of true. It does sound pretty good. It's because it's just acoustic guitar. It sounded excellent. I listened to Heart, Magic Man. Um... Two females singing. It sounded excellent. I listened to Fleetwood Mac, a Go Your Own Way, because I always want to hear the two male and female vocals and how much is the dip penalizing the vocals. Because remember, some people say graphs are... People... People cite graphs when it backs up something that they like, and they say, let's say the SSR. There are people that say the graph doesn't reflect what they hear because the graph doesn't look good. When the graph looks good, like people are talking about the Monarch from Thea Audio, oh, that thing's going to sound awesome. Look at that graph. That thing's beautiful. 
then it's cool. Like if that graph looks good, then that graph is reflecting what's coming. If the graph doesn't look mm, good, whatever that really is, then the graph doesn't reflect what people are hearing. Like I watch people say that on forums. It's th this stuff's good for them when it suits them, and it's no good for them otherwise. That that'd be like a CPU or a hardware mm, computer dude doing benchmarks when the scores were good, and then saying, "Nah, fuck the benchmarks when the scores weren't good." Like these are good sometimes, and they're good. Does this tell the story? Mm, it does show that it's got lots of bass. It's got a dip in the mids. It's not being reflected in vocals to the point of dinging my enjoyment. Listening to... I wrote it down. No more, no more. Vocals plus guitar. There's piano in there too. Steven Tyler, I've said it a thousand times. Not a thousand. Five hundred. Steven Tyler sounds a little bit back in the mix anyway. He sounded... He sounded great, actually. This set totally blows my mind. It has not been the best in four weeks. I lost a cat. Um, that that stuff lingers. It's super hot. This 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 monitor is fifty five inches. It's like heatering on me right now. I haven't eaten yet, but I did that because when I sat down and listened to this, I enjoyed the first song that I listened to, which was "Sexual Healing" by Marvin Gaye. That's like the first thing, and then I thought, damn. And then I graphed it because I wanted to see what does this look like because if it's ridiculous I'm just I'm gonna go eat dinner and I thought this is interesting if I would rotate this to the right slightly and it's it's like a ghetto Z1R doesn't sound it sounds really good I, I don't know I'm not even a good hype man you know what I mean like just just be enthusiastic and get it over and hit the button I, I for its price I really don't have any complaints. It's got the typical ghetto cable. Uh, it's like it's like they're trolling the, with the cable. They could easily get something that would cost pennies per unit. You know what I mean? Buy them and have you seen the way they make cables on videos in China? Like they got these machines that wrap in giant bundles of thousands. They lop it, cut it, and then strip it, lop it, cut it, and then they that's like the cables you get. They could they could do better. They just don't want to. I guess it's like. Belon writing crazy shit on their boxes. It's cute. So people put up with it. I guess P KZ. I don't know. This is a good set. The bass is doing its job when it's supposed to, and it's not getting in the way of a track like Daniel by Elton John, where it actually could. The low end actually could creep in and make Elton John sound a little mm, too warm, not unnatural in his voice. It's just not giving me that. It was so enjoyable that I thought, I'm going to knowledge bomb Elton John. And then I get to throw in that I actually crossed, walked into a Neiman Marcus as he was walking out. We both paused for a second, looked at each other, for different reasons. Um, look, he looked at me because I'm, I'm fucking handsome, and I looked at him because he's fucking Elton John. You know what I mean? And then I looked down because he's looking me up and down, and I noticed he's got platform shoes, at a fucking mall. You know why? It's not just on stage all the time. He's got a big head. Remember that too squarish kind of head that's what I'm remembering my reviews <laughs> when I'm talking about music I'm having a good time and I'm talking a lot about Elton John where would this fail well looking at the graph you'd think it's something I don't know I'm talking about Elton John and Aerosmith and also Big Boy and Marvin Gaye Sexual Healing Mm, that's like Motown R&B, mm, 70s rock and roll, uh, and yeah, I guess Elton John and, and when was Ripple written? I guess that was 70s too. Metallica Fade to Black I listened to too. Guitar sounded great on this every single time, acoustic or electric. If you if you monitor because people sometimes are like they they want to get items for their band and I always said the AS10 was my favorite KZ for monitoring because it just wasn't too much on anything. If you do guitar, if you're a guitar player, this it sounds good as sounds dope as fuck. Go listen to Elton John and listen to the strumming, the the rhythm guitar. Just just listen to that. I'm hearing it with absolute fucking minutia. Like I can hear everything going on in that guitar, and and then it sucked me in, and then I got onto Google, and then I 
check the Wikipedia for Daniel. What is that about? Always wondered. It's about a dude coming back from Vietnam in Texas, the most right-leaning conservative state in the country probably at that time that that song was written and probably still to today, maybe Alabama, Mississippi. And he's writing a song about a guy going back to there who just wants to get on with his life when everybody's calling him a hero. I had no fucking idea. I learned something today and I enjoyed music. CCA, CA16, legit. I'm going to compare it with the iBaso IT00 just because it's almost the same price. And why not? Because it's a fucking KZ. Hey, ZS10 Pro I thought was great and the AS10 I've I've wrecked to so many people that say I'm in a band I want to buy five things we got to really save money I just want a monitor I thought ah, it's BA base but it'll it'll give it to you like it's not bad and it's not easy I, I would wreck this now for that musician on a budget that wants to monitor the vocals or guitar bass I'm not sure but vocals guitar for sure really good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. I should have probably hit the stop button a couple times, but I got to throw Z-Pult in there. I got to throw in a personal story. And people that watch my channel for at least two years know that when I start rambling about music stuff, I'm enjoying myself. Especially the surprises. I did not see this coming. This was amongst other stuff and I just totally put it to the side. Don't know why I brought it out today because, oh, I'm doing Patreon. And I thought, should I do a review for this or just throw it? And then I thought, that's not pro. That was sent to me. Just do the video and listen to it. Ooh. Ooh, that 808 sounds great on sexual healing. Mm, what does that graph sound look like? And, oh, that's trippy familiar. Yes, that peak around 5 is is up there. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Sounds damn good. I'll let you guys go. I'm out. I'm going to eat some dinner. I'm going to up upload this and process it and do a thumbnail. Take a picture probably right here with that in the background. And then get my mind around the fact that I'm going to have to do another video with the IT00 and put this in it because they're almost the same price. Is that thing really better? Remember, I'm a dynamic driver dude. The YBF, the Belon, those are dynamic drivers. The Sony IERZ when I has got two. One in the low, full range, across the end of the mids, and then the other's doing tweeters. So, multiple. I don't think there's a BA in the stem. I'm not getting that metallic thing. You know what I mean? With KZs? It's just not. I'm not getting that. Hmm. Surprised. Very surprising. And I'm out. I gotta eat.